Hi students, as a part of uh, corrosion unit, so today I am going to discuss the very important topic which is uh, very important from the knowledge point of view as well as examination point of view. So based upon the corrosion definition, it is amply clear that corrosion is not desirable on the metals because corrosion is the gradual destruction or deterioration of the metal. Now, because of the gradual destruction or deterioration of the metal, what are the hazardous effects associated with the corrosion of the metals already have explained in the first video which I have made on the corrosion. Right. And not only that, already I have discussed very well in the first video that around one fourth of iron metal is getting damaged per annum across the world. Now just imagine how dangerous this phenomena is. So since it is very dangerous phenomena, definitely we need to protect or control the corrosion control corrosion of the metals. We need to control the corrosion of the metals. Right. So today I am going to discuss that only that is corrosion controlling methods. Now so many methods are there for controlling or preventing or avoiding the corrosion of the metals. metals. But do remember that whatever the corrosion controlling method is, whatever the corrosion controlling method is, we cannot uh, avoid or prevent or control the 100% corrosion of the metal because the metal is a part of environment since it is a part of environment it is more affinity towards the moisture and the oxygen and because of which only the metal is undergoing the wet or electrochemical corrosion so whatever the metal whatever the method whatever the corrosion controlling method is this or any of the method will not uh, avoid or prevent or control the 100% corrosion of any of the metal. But among all the corrosion controlling methods, uh, the very widely used corrosion controlling methods are the first one is cathodic production and the second one is surface coatings. Cathodic production and surface coatings. Now we are going to discuss that only cathodic production. That is making use of cathodic production, how we are uh, going to control the corrosion of the metal. Corrosion of the metal. Now, what is the principle involved in this cathodic production? So before I explain the principle involved in the cathodic production, students, when the metal undergo corrosion, whenever it act as anode and undergo oxidation or, or whenever it act as cathode and undergo reduction. So whenever the metal act as anode and undergo oxidation, then oxidation is nothing but the corrosion process. That is, whenever the metal is acting as anode, then only it is undergoing the oxidation and oxidation is nothing but the corrosion process. Now, if the anodic metal is forced to act as cathode, then instead of acting as anode and undergo oxidation, that is corrosion, now the metal act as cathode and undergo reduction. Cathode and undergo reduction. That is the principle involved in the cathodic production. In the cathodic production, the metal which is the metal whose corrosion is to be controlled or avoided or prevented is forced to act as cathode instead of acting as anode and undergo oxidation that is corrosion. That is the basic principle involved in the cathodic production. Now from now, from now, that is whatever the videos I am going to make on the corrosion, you will come across the three words. You will come across the three words. So what are those three words will come across uh, throughout the corrosion or oh, the one is base metal, second one is active metal and the third one is noble metal. So now first what is base metal? The metal whose corrosion is going to be avoided or prevented or controlled is called as base metal. Next active metal. 
the metal miss which is more susceptible to act as anode and undergo oxidation oxidation is nothing but corrosion and third one is noble metal the metal which act as only the cathode and undergo reduction so now in order to understand the corrosion controlling method precisely definitely you have to know the definition of base metal active metal and the noble metal now from now i am going to use uh, these three words and uh, whatever the definitions i have given to you so based upon that try to remember what is base metal active metal and the noble metal now what is the principle in what friends whatever the metal that is base metal is forced to act as cathode instead of acting as anode now cathodic production can be done by two ways the one is sacrificial anode production and the second one is impressed current cathodic production sacrificial anode production the name itself suggests something that is in this particular cathodic production we are going to use sacrificial anodes sacrificial anodes now what are sacrificial anodes we will come to know while uh, uh describing this sacrificial anodic production with the help of uh, this particular figure right now our base metal what is base metal already i clearly explained our base metal is iron pipeline which is buried under the ground now our uh, goal is to protect the corrosion of iron metal now since our goal is to protect the corrosion of iron metal in the case of sacrificial anode production what we have to do is the iron metal should be connected to the metal which is more anodic compared to the iron which is more anodic compared to the iron so let us try try to recapitulate the electrochemical series so from the electrochemical series uh, it is amply clear that um, the iron value that is standard reduction potential value of iron is minus 0.44 and magnesium the standard reduction potential value of magnesium is magnesium is minus 2.87 volt 2.87 2.87 now as both are associated with the negative value as both are associated with negative value both can act as anode and undergo oxidation that is nothing but the corrosion that is nothing but the corrosion but electrochemical series says that if both the electrodes are associated or if both the metals are associated with the, the negative value the one which is associated with the higher negative value the one which is associated with higher negative value act as anode and undergo oxidation and since the oxidation is corrosion it undergo corrosion now the iron its value is minus 0.44 volt now coming to the magnesium which is attached to protect the iron pipeline which is being buried under the ground its value is minus 2.8 so since its value is minus 2.87 its value is more when compared to iron so since its value is more when compared to iron based upon the electrochemical series we can say that the magnesium act as anode magnesium act as anode and undergo oxidation oxidation is nothing but corrosion oxidation is nothing but corrosion right so what we can say that in the sacrificial anode production the base metal should be connected to more anodic metal more anodic metal means uh, the metal whose standard reduction potential is highly negative when compared to the base metal. that should be done now why this particular method is called as a sacrificial anode production because actually the iron without this magnesium which is being attached to it should act as anode and undergo oxidation that is corrosion but whenever it is attached to the magnesium since it a its value is associated with minus 2.87 as it is higher 
it act as anode and undergo oxidation oxidation is nothing but the corrosion now what the magnesium is doing it is sacrificing it is sacrificing the iron on the iron because iron should act as anode and undergo oxidation that is corrosion but instead of the iron the magnesium is sacrificing and acting as anode and undergo undergoing oxidation that is nothing but the corrosion so since the magnesium is sacrificing on the iron the magnesium here is called as sacrificial anode here is called as sacrificial anode and since sacrificial anode is used to protect the base metal against the corrosion this particular method is called as sacrificial anodic protection and examples of the sacrificial anodes includes the magnesium zinc aluminium and their alloys and the sacrificial anodic uh, production method is extensively used to prevent or control or avoid the corrosion of the ship hull ship hull is made up of iron right in the similar fashion as we have connected uh, the iron pipeline to the magnesium in the similar fashion the ship hull which is made up of iron is connected either to the magnesium or the zinc or aluminium or their alloys in order to avoid or prevent or control the corrosion of the iron metal by which ship hull is made up of so this is about sacrificial anodic production now coming to the next cathodic production that is how we can convert uh, how we can convert the anodic metal into cathodic metal that is impressed current cathodic production so impressed current cathodic production in the impressed current cathodic production a direct current is sent in the opposite direction to the corrosion current in order to nullify in the impressed current cathodic production a direct current is sent in the opposite direction to the corrosion current in order to nullify it what does it mean let us discuss now this is a setup which is required for carrying out the impressed current cathodic production and in the case of impressed current cathodic production we need the battery we need the battery and the negative terminal of the battery should be connected to the base metal what is the base metal whose corrosion is to be controlled or prevented or avoided and the positive terminal of the battery should be connected to the inert electrode inert i n e r t inert means what students inert means uh, unreactive electrode it should be connected to unreactive electrode and this unreactive electrode is buried in the black film it is buried in the black film buried in the black film. right so first let us discuss about the black film what what for it is used the black film is a combination of sodium sulfate gypsum and coke what is gypsum already you know that caso4 2h2o right sodium sulfate gypsum and coke black film and black film is used for electrical contact that is the purpose of the black film black fill is used for electrical contact proper electrical contact between the electrodes that is the purpose of black fill. right now negative terminal of the battery is connected to the base metal and positive terminal of the battery is connected to inert electrode now what happens to this when the negative terminal of the battery is connected to the base metal and positive terminal of the battery is connected to the inert electrode first tell me first uh, the question is the direction the flow of current takes place from negative terminal of the battery to positive terminal of the battery or positive terminal of the battery to both the negative terminal of the battery the flow of current takes place from negative terminal of the battery to positive terminal of the battery flow of current takes place from negative terminal of the battery to positive terminal of the battery now always do remember that 
the flow of electrons will be always in the opposite direction of flow of current flow of current accordingly the flow of electrons accordingly the flow of electrons takes place from positive terminal of the battery takes place from positive terminal of the battery to negative terminal of the battery that is flow of electrons flow of electrons takes place from positive terminal of the battery to negative terminal that is flow of electrons is taking place from positive terminal of the battery which is connected to inner the electrode to negative terminal of the battery means the electrons are flowing the electrons are flowing inside the iron pipeline the electrons are flowing inside the iron pipeline right iron pipeline this flowing inside the iron pipeline now the iron pipeline which is the base metal is becoming enriched with the electrons is becoming enriched with electrons means what is the charge associated with electrons the charge associated with the electrons is negative charge so since it becomes enriched with the electrons we can say that it becomes enriched with the negatively charged particles it becomes enriched with negatively charged particles negatively charged particles since it became more enriched with negatively charged particles now it becomes negative it becomes negative it becomes negative right so since childhood you are studying that positive electrode is anode and negative electrode is cathode negative electrode is cathode now whenever it act as anode then whenever it acts as anode means whenever it is positive then only it act as anode and undergo oxidation oxidation is nothing but corrosion but uh, this anode which is which was positive earlier which was positive earlier has been converted to negative has been converted to negative positive to negative that is it has been converted from anode to cathode since it has been converted from anode to cathode now instead of acting as anode and undergoing oxidation that is corrosion now it act as cathode and undergo a reduction it acts as cathode and undergo reduction the phenomenon is very simple students whenever it is positive then it act as anode and undergo oxidation oxidation is nothing but the corrosion but as the flow of electrons is taking place inside the iron pipe it becomes enriched with the negatively charged electrons it becomes it becomes enriched with the negatively charged electrons it becomes negative and since the negative is the cathode now instead of acting as anode and undergo oxidation that is corrosion now it acts as cathode and undergo reduction so this is about the uh, one of the corrosion controlling method which is a uh, cathodic production so in the next video i am going to explain about uh, the surface coatings by means of the surface coatings also we can avoid or control or prevent the corrosion of the matches i hope you understood uh, this concept and this is very important from examination point of view from the perception of engineering chemistry So thanks for watching students